What is up guys and girls? So in this video, I'm going to show you the locations to all the missing persons in the Arboretum. Now, a couple of side notes is, be very careful of the recycle grenades because if you recycle the corpse, it is gone for good and will void the trophy. Secondly, turrets. What I've started doing in this game is, this playthrough, is just destroying every turret I come across because they have the ability to destroy phantoms when you're not in the room and it'll be way more difficult for you to find the remains of a phantom than it is to find the actual phantom. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the guts loading bay of the Abortum, and this is following with the storyline. You'll come through the guts after doing the megatosphere, magnetosphere at least, and you will find this fellow here, Jia Kuang Ho, I think it is. And up the stairs we're going to find a Mark Sellers. And then we're going to head to the center of the Arboretum, and we're going to find, who are we going to find there? Jenny King. And then just to your left, you're going to find Lily Morris, who is, well, she, she initiates the three taps of wrench uh, smugglers dead drops quest. Okay, next up, we're going to head into this back area. You'll need a leverage three here. I wouldn't suggest using a recycle grenade because you will probably recycle her. And Karen Buckley was that girl. Okay, so heading back out into the greenery. We're going to find Evelyn McCarthy right there. Then up here at the back of the greenhouse, we're going to find Edna. Miss Edna Burton. Now with the greenhouse, there's been some confusion. What I like to do Hello. is... are you here for an appointment? What I like to do is just come here and activate the sprinklers as soon as you can. This will make that uh, telepath piss off. But regardless if they die or not, you'll still get their bodies. But do note, if you come back here after making this uh, telepath go away, then some of these bodies won't be here. And that is Rodney S. Poole. What I mean is that if, if they're unconscious like this fellow here, uh, Dr. You Mickey Pitt, then he will be gone if you come back later, Where? and you'll probably find him in oh life God. support or the Please escape pods. So this is Ronnie. Ronnie Cahodri. Cahodri? Not sure. But she's the only one who wasn't unconscious, so those guys will be in different areas of the room, the ones who are unconscious, so have a look around. You'll find them. And down here on the roof, we are going to find Genedy. Genedy Moronov. Okay, now Lawrence Baxter, he was a phantom, which I found inside the storage locker, and I don't show Hello. it here, nice to because I lost the footage, but I found him 100% in this room. And of course they do wander, so it's just good to know that he was in this area. Okay, now we're going to head down to the entrance to the crew quarters, and we're going to find Lizzie Colton. Right, so heading back up, we're going to take a little side path here to the right. And we're going to find Iris Stein. Continuing up the path, up the hill. We're going to find Ellie Gold by the initials tree. Good evening, Talos. And that's this where you'll get the key card for the storage here. locker. Just do a Identity quick map reference there. Talos is strictly confidential. Just behind one of these rocks you'll find a key card as well. So that was Ellie Gold, now we're going to head off to Thomas Tucker, who is viewing, or was viewing, the Looking Glass. Our Zachary West is found downstairs, or down lift, at the entrance to, I think it's Deep Storage, yeah. And he will initiate the quest, um, the Echoes quest. Which will gain access, will allow you to gain access to this place. Okay, now we're going to head back out. We're going to head underneath Alex's office. Now there could be many ways of getting up here, literally. But the least trouble is up here. I thought I got rid of all my PS4 skipping there. In case you're wondering, if you're in the game and you're recording, and then you stop recording, and then you exit to the XMB, that process, even if you're not recording, will make it skip. So I have to 
reset the game every time I want to go and check what I've recorded. Okay, so that was Marietta Krakos, and she will have the Golden Gun start quest there. And this guy will have the super fruit, Julian Howard. Alejandro Mata was quite well hidden. I had to use the crew searcher to find him. It's about the third or fourth playthrough I've done, but I haven't finished it every time. I kind of just got myself familiar with these areas so I could do these in one run. As little edits as possible. But down here, we're going to find Alejandro Mata, and he was hanging, well, his arm was hanging through the ceiling here. So I just jumped up, grabbed him, and pulled him down. And there he is there. So the last one is, spoiler alert, if you haven't finished the game, spoiler alert. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. Alex, you. And you can grab his tracking bracelet or just search him here. And that is it, guys. That is the last missing, well, he wasn't really a missing person, but a person nonetheless that can't hope to grab him. So I hope you find this video very informative, guys, and I hope you're able to crack out this trophy as soon as possible. So I want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.